Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Tap, I play games, and we are back playing our SmackDown vs. Raw Definitive Edition Season Mode playthrough. Right now we are about to fight Randy Orton at Bad Blood. I uh, didn't, you know, I stopped playing before I got to the Randy Orton match. So we are about to play against Randy Orton in a cage match um, for the championship. Um, if you guys like this series, make sure you go ahead and slap a like on the video. And subscribe if you're new here to Tap Plays Games. It's so greatly appreciated when you guys show love on the videos, so I appreciate it. But we got business to take care of, so let's get into it. Okay, Randy Orton and Stone Cold. Talking trash back and forth. Stomping a mud hole. RKO. Some bad blood. No mouth movement there. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, we are about to fight Randy Orton for the title. Just hit the table there. My bad. I mean, look how beautiful that stage is. I just realized I'm playing in my recording. I'm not playing in the, uh, I'm not actually playing the game. I was playing it in my recording software. There we go. Full screen. Beautiful. It's kind of nice letting JR and King do all the talk and I can uh, save my voice. All right, here we go. So I was thinking about this match and I definitely feel like Randy Orton or just anybody I I've fought so far, when you hit them with, you know, their stunner, it seems like they don't really get that hurt. So I think I need to take off these turnbuckle pads and really do work with those because take the player indicator off. I feel like, uh, you know, there's not a lot of ways to get dirty meter in a cage match because you can't fight outside. So perhaps if I do work with the turnbuckle pads, I can get the dirty meter, use the low blows, you know, wrestle like a real piece of garbage. But I'm fine with that. First that move. That punch is like devastating and it gives me a lot of smackdown meter. I should do that more. No. Get him with that. Nice. Close line. There we go. Beautiful. No, I did not mean to climb. Go down. There we go. Woo. It's close. Okay. Take the pad off. Spine buster action. Get with another one, maybe? Nope. A little arm drag. Or hip toss, whatever you call that. These guys have done their homework on each other, JR. No, what am I doing? I don't know why I went the other way when I was trying to clothesline him. Nice. Can't take much more of this. Almost got my dirty meter, which is beautiful. I got it. Right. As soon as you finish, hit him with the move. Low blow time. Yes. I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. Okay, hurry up, get him up so we can do it again. Oh, Randy Orton's done. What? No. How did he just go flat and then get up in two seconds? What's up with that nonsense? Reverse him. Another little blow. Beautiful. I don't understand this game. Was this game always like that? I only ask that every video, but I really don't remember the like, people getting up so easy. Maybe it's just because my stats are so low. I'm keeping faith that that's it. Otherwise, this game is a lot different than like the previous couple SmackDown games. Maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe they felt like it was too easy. How does he get a clean meter from a a forearm uppercut? That seems like the dirtiest move, one of the dirtiest moves he could do. Randy Orton's hurting pretty bad. Maybe I shoot him with the, with the with the stunner. 
Come on, get up, Stone Cold. Is he done? One, two. Come on, we need three movements. Three. No, he's gonna get up. He's gonna get up. Oh, I gotta get off there. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Now he's gonna get his finisher. I'm not gonna be able to reverse it. Ah, oh, that sucks. How does he not? I mean, he didn't stay down for very long at all for being as hurt as he is. I need to get my dirty meter back up. One more and I'm gonna be real close. Maybe two more. One more. Get my dirty meter up. Hit him with a taunt. All right, here we go. Ooh, another one, another one. Hit him with it. Yes, I love it. All right, pick him back up. Hit him with another one. But then we're gonna hit him with a stunner again. And if he's not down long enough for that, then I really don't know what to do at this point. It'll be crazy. Come on. All right, there's no way. On. Stay down. I could watch these guys go at it all night, JR. I got it. He's down. You're looking at your new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Stone Cold never actually held this belt in real life, so it'd be kind of cool to actually see him with it. New champion. We got a new champion. Can you believe it, King? Can believe it jr i can't remember the last time i saw such an intense cage match both men wanted it but he wanted it just a little bit more there you go stone cold your new champion i feel like randy orton's gonna come out on raw and be like i want my rematch clause blah 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 and i think like bischoff's gonna start being a scumbag i could be wrong but i just feel like that's gonna happen Time to see what uh, kind of BS Randy Orton's gonna come out here and spew. Oh, here comes Bischoff. Walking down to the ring. I know you all came out here to see the World Heavyweight Champion in action tonight, right? You want to see the champ put his title on the line because nothing gets a crowd more pumped up than seeing a title match, am I right? Well, tonight is your lucky night because the champ is going to face off against two other of this brand's top superstars in a steel cage. What? I just did a steel cage match. And unfortunately, I'm not sure that you all deserve to see an actual title match, so the belt will not be on the line. But hey, you can all pretend, right? What? Go to the ring and say that the crowd deserves to see a title match. Go to the ring and praise decision to make tonight's match a non-title match so this is like a face or heel option right here i like having the dirty meter but i feel like stone cold would do the top thing or maybe he wouldn't though i guess i'll do the face option it's gonna be a title match there he is I don't know. I know I don't make the matches around here, Bischoff, but you're wrong when you say that these people don't deserve a title match. I'm ready to put the belt on the line anywhere, anytime. That's admirable, champ, but uh, unfortunately for these people, I still make the rules around here, and my decision stands. Damn. Bischoff's a real creep, you know what? Stop. Stone Cold versus Kane versus Triple H in a triple threat cage match? Wow. Okay, that's going to be quite the match. I don't know about that one. It's going to be difficult. Look at that Triple H blue attire. That's beautiful. And Kane looks pretty good, too. 
to Monday Night Raw. It's just about time to go here, King. And business. Wait, I wonder if I could just climb out the cage while they're wrestling each other. Nope. This is like right when Kane started wearing this attire too. It's a really nice can't can, uh, really nice Kane attire, but I really love the Triple H, the blue attire, which is exclusive to Definitive Edition, I believe. I could be wrong. It could be an alternate, but I don't know if there was a lot of alternates in this game. Alternate tires, was there? I feel like after here comes the pain, like each game they start having less and less alternate tires. I feel like the, if these guys get into, like locked up into some long animations, I feel like if, if Triple H does one of his long, lengthy, boring, like, leg submission animations, I could easily just climb out the, climb out the cage on him. But as of now, I'm just sitting here getting destroyed. So that's nice. I'm wondering here, Kane's got his finisher. Triple H almost has his. I am not as close. As the other guys. I'm hurting pretty bad already. I don't know how this match is going to work out with me winning. I feel like I'm in a... You know, I feel like I'm in the worst position to win right now. Oh, let's go. Submission move. Nope. I'm kind of just hanging out waiting for somebody to do a submission. Get up, Stone Cold. Get up. There we go. Switch! Why, why wouldn't I look at... What the hell? That was weird. I was trying to switch my character to look at Triple H and I like, wouldn't move over. So like if I hit the cage, nothing was going to happen. I guess I could just right, bump in the cage like that, but... Oh. Wow. Kane with a stunner. That was... Oh, what are you guys doing, you idiots? They both are climbing at the same time? Wait, who, who's gonna win? This That was like the exact same time. I think Triple H is gonna win. Oh, Triple H is falling though. What's going on? Oh, what just happened? Yo, okay, I'm not even mad. That was kind of sick. So they both ran out the cage at the same time, but Triple H started falling and Kane went out. But I, Triple H was a little ahead. Triple H had a little bit of an advantage. And then Kane went first. Like Kane, when, that was crazy. I've never seen that before. That was like realistic. The fans didn't deserve to see a title match here tonight. They still got a great match though. So what's there to complain about? I'm not even mad. It's not a title match. It's whatever. Well, damn, and they're complaining to Bischoff. I was just looking over the ratings of last week's cage match, and they're through the roof. <laughs> SmackDown didn't have anything that could touch them. Yeah, it was a good match, but it would have meant more if my title had been on the line. Why couldn't you have just made the title match? Well, I would have lost, so that was a good thing it, Listen, I didn't. Champ, but you're a big draw as a champion. You're my golden egg-laying goose. I am not going to jeopardize that by risking your title. Okay. Now go and get ready. You're in the main event again tonight. Non-title match, naturally. Well, I've heard of champions that didn't want to risk their titles. But I've never heard of a general manager who didn't. I don't think the fans are going to like this, JR. So we got another... Okay, j just against Chris Jericho. That shouldn't be too difficult. Another match against Chris Jericho. Eh, Chris Jericho. How difficult of an opponent could he be, really? Here he comes. Ooh, okay. Chris 
So we're going to be fighting the Intercontinental Champion as the Heavyweight Champion, which will be interesting. Champion versus Champion right now. Here we go. Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. Welcoming you to Raw. Champion contest. I'm not very good at this. I love this town, JR. I hope to get a chance to audition some young starlets later. These very intense superstars can't wait for the bell to ring. The fans have been waiting all night for this one, but I think the superstars... Here we go. If I hit him with this next shove, he's going to put him to the ground. Ooh, let's go. Okay. Hit him with a taunt. A couple taunts while I'm at it. All right. I feel like Chris Jericho is not going to be that difficult of an opponent, but all my opponents have been kind of difficult, so I feel like I can't really even say that anymore. They just don't stay down like I'd like them to. No. Don't forget, JR. Jericho's not just a superstar. He's also already going for a pin. What a creep. Out of here with that. I'm a, I'm a good guy now. No more taking off turnbuckle pads. That's in the past. We go off top rope now. Fully not a stone cold thing to do, but whatever. Still doing it. Ooh, I miss. Out of here with that. That nonsense out of here. Moons, moon salts will always crack. I've never seen superstars. With more potential. Me oh, to never try that was a that was a cane flying clothesline. I actually really like that stone that uh, Chris Jericho attire, the black with like the the Jericho logo with some blue and gold. It's a pretty sick attire. Damn, this dude's like. Gotta hear that. Ooh, we're in a bulldog. Nice. You need the face this time, but better. How come it's not getting like the animation of it? No. Oh, we're good. The official certainly has his hands full in this matchup. You might want to close your eyes, Jr. I think this one's about to get ugly. Get out of here. Listen to the crowd, Jr. I hit him with the center. Nice. Come on, pin him. One, two. Oh, just a one count on a stunner? Are you kidding me? And look how damaged he is. That's crazy. Get reversed. No. Reversing Jericho again. Going back to my dirty ways. Screw it. I'm trying to figure out how to make Jericho like more hurt here so I can pin him, but this dude's just straight like kind of a tank. I feel like I've done so much damage to him and he's not taking any damage. I'm gonna do that stunner that I got in my move set, but like I can't figure out how to how to hit it. What is it, like a brain buster? Oh, just a suplex. Oh, is Jericho done? Do I don't know if One, two, three. Yes. This game, the damage values on this game are really weird. I don't understand. It's like I had to hit him with a finisher and then hit him a bunch more till I almost had a finisher, then he was ready to be pinned. But we got the W, so I'm not complaining. Damn, they're going with the, the narrative of like Bischoff's protecting me with non title matches. Maybe because like I'm getting ratings as a champion, so like he's afraid if someone else is champion that SmackDown will be beating us. That must be what it is. But we got that W. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade our attributes some. 
We can go from a five to a six on uh, strength. Durability, we can go to five and a half. Ooh. Technique, we can go to a four and a half. Superstars with ratings of eight or above in technique or ability to have the ability to counter Irish whips at the ropes. Oh, okay. Speed isn't super important. Charisma. Our smackdown meter will go up more. Maybe we do durability, actually. We won't be taking as much damage anymore. That'll be nice, for sure. So I feel like we're actually doing decent damage to guys now. 